Alright, so it's the time of the year again. It's Skyblock's fourth birthday, and Technoblade's mayor event is back in the game. With it, we have shiny pigs and shiny orbs, as well as many exclusive items. In this guide, I'll be going over how you can farm shiny pigs, the most effective ways to do them, and exactly what they drop, as well as the loot distributions. If you enjoy, please subscribe. But anyways, enjoy the video. First, let's talk about setup. Obviously, we're going to be needing a lot of shiny orbs to transform the pig with, but unless you want to punch the pig with your fist all day, then you should probably get something better to move it back to its shiny orb. So there's actually two options for this. One is, of course, the budget option of a uh, sort of knockback 2. This is basically just any sword that has knockback 2 on it. If you don't want to knock back two on your main weapon, just buy like a random sword from like the weaponsmith or just craft it. As you can see, I have a diamond sword here. It has knock back two and it makes it a lot easier to knock the pig back into spot. And then we have the shiny rod, which when you hold it, it uh, makes the pig move towards its orb faster and can also be a pretty big coin bonus. It does cost quite a bit. And I just bought this for like 4.8 million coins. So it's not cheap at all. All right, so after you have one of the options for a setup, I recommend finding an optimal location to farm pigs. First of all, find a lobby that does not have too much people. This lobby has basically nobody, like only like about four people. So it's gonna be pretty easy to actually farm the pigs. But next, what you wanna do is you wanna find a place where the pigs aren't going to get stuck between buildings and you have to cross over. Like for example, if there was a pig here and I use the shiny orb on it, there's a good chance it's gonna fly all the way across the auction house and land here which actually there is a pig here, which is interesting. And then I'd have to knock it all the way back over around the building into where the pig was. And that gets really complicated and it's gonna get even more difficult if it's like here or something. So I recommend using like the shiny orb in more open spaces. Like for example, this is a great open space. If we use the shiny orb here, uh, you can easily hit the pig back. Well, I guess there is a fountain here, which makes it kind of difficult. But if you just hit it a few times, then it's not too hard to get the pig back to where it needs to be. All right, so here's the loot table of the stuff you can get from the shiny orbs, as well as their respective drop chances. Now, this is from the Waikai Phantom, so there could be flaws in it, but it is the closest thing we have, and it seems like this person who did it is likely very rich and did a ton of trials to get these values. Anyways, though, as you can see, the main items that you really, really want to get are going to be the shiny shard, the potato talisman, and the 1 million coins. However, there's only a 1 in 400 chance that you actually get any of those items when you put, put a shiny pig back into its shiny orb. So it's pretty rare. It doesn't look like there's anything really desirable for Lakin players, but it does look like it's a pretty OP money making method for people who are early game. Also, I just like to point out that this can also be a really great way of getting collection as whenever you get the enchanted potato or pork, you actually gain respective collections towards those progress, which is how I maxed out both collections without ever running those minions. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope it really helps you in your pig grinding journeys. Next, check out this video I made on how much IRL jobs would make you if you converted them into booster cookies and bought Skyblock coins with them. But have a good day, guys.